Caviar is one of the world's oldest delicacies. For centuries, it was harvested by Russian and Persian fishermen in the Caspian Sea, but overfishing put sturgeon on the endangered list. Most likely, the caviar you eat today is specially farmed. In 2011, enterprising Russian businessman Alexei Tutin and his Thai business partner Nopadon Kamsai saw an opportunity in Asia's growing demand for caviar. We tasted from them. Now, believe it or not, these little sturgeon can grow to up to two meters or more in length, and they can keep producing caviar for well over 10 years. This fish uh, has no standard size, so it grows all life till the very death, wow. and it lives for 60, 70 years. Yes. So, so it could be like 300 kilogram one fish. The biggest beluga, which was ever, I mean, the biggest yeah. ever caught, one and a half ton, almost Amazing. nine meters. That's a lot of caviar. Uh, yes, it has about 200 kilograms of caviar. <laughs> Maybe we can catch one, yeah? <laughs> Maybe you're better than I am at catching it. For this one, we give them once a day, we give them fresh. Uh -huh. Like prawns, we go give them calamari, just yeah. eat it and eat it. Because not enough protein in this okay. about 42 percent and they need about 50. What's truly unique about this farm is the fact it's located south of Bangkok in Hua Hin, on the shores of the Gulf of Thailand. Now so, caviar is known as being very expensive, so yeah. will, will this make it sort of more affordable for more people? That's, to, that's to our target, so that's yeah. what we want to do. The farm's water circulation and recycling system has been specially designed by Alexei and his team. The Thai Sturgeon Farm operates a closed recirculation aquaculture system with the purpose of producing caviar, sturgeon meat and value-added products for national and international markets. That's why we designed this facilities. So this is a winter simulation room mm. where we can drop down temperature to 5 degrees. The first phase facility of 1,500 square meters was built for a maximum production capacity of 1,500 kilograms of black caviar a year. So when we start producing caviar here, we are not paying import taxes. We, yes. we actually have an exemption for taxation from BOI. So yes. we will start, I mean, we will try to keep prices as less as possible. It all began with these tiny sturgeon, known as fry, which would one day grow into monsters. Well, the next thing is to just find some good value champagne, and then we're all set. <laughs> this is another thing, actually, because I, I, I thought already that we are working now uh, with the uh, idea to bring a very famous Russian sparkling wine, which was set up by the emperor yes. Alexander II. Wow. For Alexei, it's both a business and a passion. He eats caviar whenever he can and believes the delicacy not only tastes good, it's good for you. I would recommend to eat caviar quite often because caviar is a, a part of being expensive and luxury product. It's a very uh, healthy product. Caviar is very sexy, so it's nice to have someone as a romantic dinner, romantic dinner or uh, just some kind of special occasion. So, and to share with friends, not eating alone at home <laughs> by a big spoon. The investment in this farm to date is substantial. And besides gaining Board of Investment ranking, it has also picked up several entrepreneurial and eco awards in Thailand. Actually, this is an award we got this year from International Association of Ecologists and Entrepreneurs. For uh, they've been checking our farm, 
and we, as I explained, so we waste very little amount of water, so we are ecologically friendly, and for that we got this uh, award as a Global Eco Brand 2016. Next on the plans for the farm is a restaurant where diners can taste both sturgeon recipes and caviar on site. Sturgeon breeding requires patience, and it takes five years for the fish to be ready for caviar production. But what a difference even one year makes. Twelve months on, and the babies are not so small anymore. Well, what a difference a year makes. Alexei, I mean, this is huge. Huge, yeah. This is one of the biggest. So he's one year old. He's one four year. and a half kilo already. Four and a half, yeah. Okay, that's a big baby, yeah? That's a big one, yeah. That's a big toddler. Mm. <laughs> a steady diet of good protein feed and the watchful gaze of Alexei's son, Sasha, and the sturgeon are well on their way to fulfilling Nopadon stream to make caviar more available and more affordable for Thai customers. I think uh, the market in Thailand is growing about the caviar. Mm. Yes, and Thai people, now we try to make a marketing on educate for Thai people about the caviar now and yeah. the marketing, the market now is better and better now. It will be a few years before we'll see caviar from this farm, but as Alexei will tell you, some precious things are worth waiting for. So it sounds like in a few years all the best parties are going to be at your place. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have to try some. This is yours? Yes. It's not mine, it's from Sturgeon. It's from Sturgeon, <laughs> but... <laughs> there we go, why not? It's fantastic. Wow. 